It's been a while since my last plan with me video, so I thought that it would be nice if today I let you follow along with me as I plan for a very busy week in my paper planner. So get out your planner and favorite writing utensils because we've got some serious planning ahead of us. Hello my charmed ones, welcome back to my channel for another video. If this is your first time with me, I would just like to say welcome. My name is Alexis, but I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. I'm an online entrepreneur who designs and sells digital productivity tools to help you work smarter, not harder. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave some links down below in the description box where you can see more of my work online and feel free to download some of my latest free productivity tools over at thecharmshop.com. Okay, so as I sit here in my desk filming this right now, it is Sunday, February 12th, and this morning a work week vlog went live that showed you the behind the scenes of a very busy launch prep week that I had this previous week. Now, I still have a lot of launch prep work ahead of me for a webinar that I've got scheduled for the 21st of February, which is called Entrepreneurship is the New Black. If you're interested in signing up for that webinar, which is all about getting started with an online business, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. Now, whether or not you're interested in entrepreneurship and starting your own online business, today I have a lot that I need to plan for the upcoming week because it's going to be just as busy, if not even busier than the previous week. So I thought it would be valuable for you to see how I plan out a hectic week ahead of time in my planner. Let's get started. Okay, so as per usual, this is my planner for 2017. So this is what I'm gonna be using to plan. If you have not seen my 2017 planner setup video, I will make sure to link it down below. You definitely wanna check it out. It's a really great informative video for how I put together the system that I'm using in this planner and um, definitely walks you through a lot about different inserts and things like that that I use and rely on to plan for my life and business. Now, really quickly, before we jump into actual planning, I just wanted to point out my February dashboard for 2017. Now, I realize that by the time this video goes up, it is going to be the 19th, but I just wanted to let you guys know because I had a few questions about this early on in February, that these dashboards are available right at the tail end of the previous month, um, and they're only available for the month that they apply to. So probably, you know, maybe around the 26th, like that week, right before it becomes March, I'll be taking February's dashboard off of the shop and putting Marches in. So you can only get them for like about a month. And if you are looking in the shop for them and you're not seeing them, make sure you go and look at my blog, strangecharmed.com, because I always, always, always post a blog post when the new dashboards are ready and the dashboards come bundled with my monthly to-do list. So if you weren't aware of that, maybe that's throwing you off, but it's always the to-do lists for the month with the dashboard. And then in that blog post, I also always link the tech wallpapers. So I'm just gonna go ahead now um, that I've made that little announcement <laughs> and I'm gonna flip on over to the week ahead here in my planner. So just as a recap, I am using the Charmed Life Planner, which is a planner I designed. It is a digital planner that you get a PDF file and you print it out yourself for as many copies as you want. You know, this is a system that really works for me, this specific week on two pages layout um, that is in the sort of vertical style with my top three and like the list form but I have a couple of other different Charmed Life Planner styles that all vary by size. This is A5 slash half letter, and I also have a full letter size planner that is a different spread, and I also have a personal size, like Filofax personal size that is a different spread. So just keep that in mind. There are three different size Charmed Life Planner bundles, and there are three different um, daily slash weekly layouts inside, but everything else is the same in terms of the monthly view, the master monthly task list, and the expense sheet. Okay, so this is what I use to plan. 
And I guess I should also share with you guys that this year, when I moved into 2017, um, I kind of started planning a little differently. I started using my planner slightly differently, and I really went to just pen and paper. So one of the things that I did last year that I'm, I haven't gotten back into so much this year was use stickers, um, but I haven't used stickers this year. Like other than Inform informative stickers that I sometimes have. Yeah. At the beginning of the year, I put in these stickers that say like, you know, credit card due or anything like that, like bill payment stickers. Other than those, I am not using stickers um, in this planner. So that's just a deviation from previous years. So this is going to be a plan with me, just pen and paper. So I'm going to show you guys the utensils that I'm actually using to write. So number one here, I've got a, just a mechanical pencil. This is like an old one from the Target dollar spot. Because I am a little bit, you know, OCD and I'm type A, whatever, um, I, if I am making any long-term plans for the week, I put them in pen and pencil. And I am going to be making a full week's plan because this week coming up is very busy. But if things don't get done in one day and then I have to shuffle things around, I don't want to have to deal with pen. Um, so I will use some pen, right? So I do have this beautiful pen also from Target. I think this was like a sugar paper for Target pen. Look how pretty it is. You could probably still get it right now if this is still February 2017 when you're watching this. Um, it might still be in stores, which is great. So I just use that little ballpoint pen, which again is a little bit of a deviation from last year when I was using a Paper Mate flare because I really loved that thick black color, but then it started to annoy me. So <laughs> I went back to just a normal black ballpoint pen. And then the third utensil I'm using in my planner nowadays is this highlighter that is in a turquoise color. It's calling it Sparky One. I don't know what this is. I think it's, oh, it's right. It is zebra. It's like a zebra um, highlighter, if you guys are familiar with those. And it's kind of like a thinner sort of chisel top, you know, point. Um, I basically started using this because since I had no stickers, like I wasn't using any stickers to plan, it was, I was finding it a little difficult for me to like create hierarchy in my planner, just writing like pen and pencil. So I started using a highlighter to help me mark off things that were important. So you'll see how I use that in a second. This is definitely not going to be any sort of life-changing tip for you guys. I'm sure most of you guys are probably aware of like using highlighters in your pen, in your, in your planner, but, um, for me, it's just, you know, this is just something new. And of course it's turquoise because my favorite color. Okay. So, um, now the first thing that I'm going to do, um, in my planner that I always do first and foremost, and I'm going to try to get in a good position here so that I can write and let you guys see what I'm doing is I always start my week by planning out my top five. So my weekly top five. Now my weekly top five is a concept that I use for top five projects. So these are the five things that I want to work on this week and move towards completion. So this is the way that I organize my week. In, in the days, I may use my top three, right, to help me stay focused on a daily basis. But how I work off of my project planning is by identifying five projects for each week that need to be done or need to have progress made on them um, so that I'm always moving towards my goals and making sure that I'm completing things that are important. So this is my top five is always starts with very similar um, items. So the first one is always blog posts because that's one of my biggest priorities is to always make sure that I'm posting to my blog. The second project is YouTube videos, right? So I gotta make sure that I make my YouTube video. We're filming it right now, so that's really good, but I also have to make another video this week um, for promotional purposes, so that is gonna be part of that project. Okay, so the next thing on my list that I have to get done for my top five is the slideshow for my upcoming free webinar, Entrepreneurship is the New Black. You guys may have heard me mention this already in my previous vlog and my previous videos, um, but I am hosting this free webinar. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave it linked down below, but I need to work on the slideshow for that because that 
that webinar actually goes live on the 21st of February. So I have this week left to get that work done. Fourth thing on the top five is going to be the email sequence for Entrepreneurship is the New Black because I need to get that done. I'm going to need to send out some emails, you know, to let people know, you know, remind people it's coming up to remind people, you know, the day of that it becomes available. And because I'm going to be actually hosting that webinar a few times over the next two weeks after it goes live, um, I want to have an email sequence built out so I don't have to scramble to write emails to people, you know, at the last minute. Always good to have that kind of worked out ahead of time. And then the final thing I need to do is work out my marketing and promo plan for that webinar as well. Okay, because that's, then I need to make sure that, you know, everything's going smoothly, that I've got all of my graphics done. You guys saw in my vlog last week that I did some photography for upcoming marketing and promotion. I need to make sure that the graphics and things like that are all done so everything's nice and tidy. Okay, so now I have the top five projects written in. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I use this highlighter. So I've been using this because I love a good checkbox. I have been using this highlighter to highlight my checkboxes so that I can kind of see like what's an individual action. So I'll make like checkboxes and then I'll just fill them in with this, right? Nothing too fancy, like literally nothing too fancy, nothing too earth shattering, life changing for anyone's productivity. But when I open my planner, if I see that I've made a checkbox with my highlighter, I my eye goes right to it. So I know that like there's something that needs to be done. So that's how that helps me. Okay, so the other thing I need to do here is make a list of um, other to do's. So I'm just going to put a list here, other to do's. And I always make this list on my Monday list um, just because I feel like it's the start of the week and I can always refer back and then I use the rest of the space for um, any extra notes or things that I'm planning out. So in terms of other to-dos that I need to do, I need to actually fix my Blog Smarter Not Harder um, course. And if you guys aren't familiar, I released a free blogging course last year in December. Um, and I don't know what happened. I updated my site and the course and the course went a little bit bonkers. People weren't able to, they weren't getting their emails and things for it. So I need to go in and fix that. Um, so that's something I would, if I have extra time this week, I really want to get that done. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, you guys, if you're interested in blogging or if blogging is something that you guys, you know, want to know more about, you guys can sign up for that course. Um, and hopefully you should have no problems because I would have debugged it. <laughs> um, the next other to do I need to do is I need to send email invites to specific groups for that entrepreneurship is the new black. Oh, I did that backwards. It's okay. Um, but I know what that means. I also need to finish module number six, which if you guys watched my vlog last week, you know that I am adding a extra module to empire building for the upgrade and it's module number six. Um, and I need to finish the work on that. And then the final thing I have to do this week are some more video reviews for biz for my um, empire builders. Okay, so these are things that are, they're like kind of priorities, but you can kind of see the way that I'm working this out. These, anything having to do with these top five projects is the main priority, but then if I have like a spare minute, you know, or a spare period of time, I may jump to one of these because they're also kind of, they're important things I need to work on. But if they don't get done, it's not going to be the end of the world. Like I still have time, but they're just things that I want to do this week if I can. Okay. So now that I have my full to-do list here, right, for the whole week, 
um, in terms of the projects I'm gonna work on and the other to-dos that I'm gonna work on. The next thing I wanna do is make sure I set my top three for the week um, for every day. So this isn't something I always do every week, but if I have a very busy week, I will go ahead and I will write in what I need to get done every day. Now, I'm only gonna write in pen for Monday because it is Sunday, so I know what I'm gonna to do tomorrow. And what I'm gonna to do tomorrow is, I have to do blog posts tomorrow, which normally my blog posts would be all my top, my complete top three, but because all I'm doing is reposting content, as you guys heard in the vlog from last week, um, that's technically today, <laughs> because that's a simpler process for me, I'm just making it one task. The other thing I need, I really would like to get done tomorrow is off of the other to-do list, if I can do those email invites, that would be good. And sometimes I use an at symbol to represent email. That's just like a shortcut that I use. And then I would love to be able to finish module six. Okay, so I need to write that up and finish writing that up. And if I could even get it to being a slideshow, and by the end of Monday, that would be amazing. So, you know, this is a good amount of work. I feel like I can do it though, because I could do the blog posts in the morning. Um, I can do module six in the afternoon and the email invites really should only take me like an hour or two. So um, I'm confident I can get it all done. We just have to see. It's all about, you know, how much momentum I make in the day. Okay, so now let's move over to what I'm gonna do for Tuesday. Okay, so moving into pencil because I don't wanna make anything permanent right now. Um, Tuesday would be a great day to work on the slideshow for entrepreneurship is the new black. Okay, um, I also would like to do the script, obviously, because I do the slides and the script pretty much together. And what else do I need to do? Oh, the graphics for it, that would be important as well. And the graphics are kind of like part of the marketing and promotion, but it's not everything. Like I've got other things I need to do for that. Now, Wednesday, 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 what am I gonna work on on Wednesday? Well, let's see. Wednesday is usually my filming video, my filming day. So I will probably film and maybe get that promotional video worked out. That's also part of um, the marketing promo for Entrepreneurship is the New Black. What else can I do that day? I can finish, maybe I can finish the marketing for it. It really shouldn't take me that long, especially once I have the promo done. And then, what else, what else? Probably the email sequence. I could probably do the email sequence. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I think I could handle that on Wednesday. Okay, Thursday. Okay, well, Thursday I have to absolutely have entrepreneurship is the new black. Everything needs to be done for that. So I'm just gonna say final for that. Like everything needs to be completely done with that. I can't, I can't afford really to go past Thursday. I'd also love to finalize my upgrade modules that day. Mine as well, try to aim for that as well. And let's see, oh, maybe I can fix blog smarter, not harder. <laughs> that shouldn't be the, a terrible amount of time spent. I, I feel like I kind of already know what the fix might be. So I can, I can aim for that on Thursday. And then if not, like that's something that could easily be crossed out and I can just focus on the top two. So that's also something I'll sometimes do is if something like, if I make the third thing on my to-do list, something really, really simple, um, or maybe not as essential, it gives me more time for the, you know, the bigger projects to be done. And then finally, oh my goodness. Okay. The EB video reviews. I have to do those video reviews, some more video reviews. 
Yeah, my life every Friday. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave the other top two for Friday open. The EB video reviews, I've been dedicating like half of the day to those to get them done. Um, so if I say that I'm going to do these in the morning and then I have the afternoon open, anything that might fall off from the rest of the week, I have an opening in my time for that, which is good. So I think that's how I'm going to leave that. So now I guess let's focus in on the blank boxes at the bottom of my spread. Now, depending on what your planner is, I'm not assuming that everyone watching this is using this planner, but I do like to use these bottom boxes throughout my week for very specific information. So this is how I'm going to break them out right now. So Mondays, I like to, um, because Monday is my blogging day, what I'm going to do is identify the blog posts that I'm going to put up. And this isn't something I'm going to do right now. Tomorrow morning when I come to sit down to do my blog posts, I'll identify them. And as I get them done, I'll check them off. And then I think I will also keep track of those email invites, like who I need to send them out to. Right. And I'll just leave that blank because there, you know what I'll do? just to make these their own sort of little thing. Just highlight them, see? So I know that there's two pieces of information in here. And if you guys remember the way that I used to plan last year with my stickers, I used to just put stickers in the bottom here, like the, you know, the vertical square stickers that are like the Erin Condren ones that I sell in my shop. Um, and those would organize information for me. But like I said, I just... I'm not feeling stickers right now. I'm feeling pen and paper. So um, this is how I will deal with that. Um, just write things in instead of using stickers. It doesn't need to be fancy. I don't care that this doesn't look pretty. Um, okay, what will go here? You know what I'll do here? I'm going to actually just outline um, marketing here. So this space down here will be all for marketing plans. Here I'll put the filming. Okay, so I will list out the scenes that I'm going to film when I write that fully out. So if anything else I need to do to make a, my own private list, I'll, I'll leave these for now. Things always pop up while I'm working that I need to make like a list for that I like to keep track of. So I don't want to fill everything in on Sunday before I've even begun working. And that's also why I leave these sections open because if I have to take notes during the day or something like that, I have areas in there. That's why I like to dedicate during my pre-planning time, the boxes at the bottom. Okay, so I think that's probably it for the boxes. Next thing I just want to write in as a reminder for me is, um, I am reading a book right now called Scrum. And I just am going to write the title in <laughs> to every day, just down at the bottom. I'm, I think I'm going to be very close to finishing it, which is good. And then I might actually be able to get a second book in this month, maybe like a book for pleasure sort of thing. But I'm just going to write this down. And the days that I read it, I'll just like check it off. No big deal. It's not so important that I need to highlight it. And finally, I just am going to write down a little reminder for self-care. The bottom. If you guys remember from previous videos, one of my big things for 2017 is self-care. Every day I'm doing some sort of self-care. And it's actually been working out really well. I've had some comments actually on... Um, Instagram photos that my skin is looking brighter and that's part of this whole self-care routine. I've been doing like an amazing job <laughs> using like some some products and like, you know, doing my sheet masks and um, using some new scrubs and things like that. So um, if my skin looks better to you guys, it's probably because I've been doing some good self-care. So I think that 
is going to be it for the planning I'm gonna do right now. So like I said, a good amount of information is laid out here. So I'm gonna know what I need to do tomorrow morning, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I've got spaces laid out for anything else that's important. Um, I have no plans as far as I know for the weekend. So um, I'm just gonna leave those blank. Usually what I'll write in here is if I need to write errands, run errands, or if I have any um, groceries or things that I, I need to remember to buy. Like let's say I'm like having lunch in the afternoon, you know, this week, and I realize that I'm out of something, I'll start a grocery list in one of these. Um, and if there's like an errand I need to run, again, I'll write a list for like errands that I need to run over the weekend. But generally I leave these blank until I need them. So the final thing I guess I want to share with you guys about how I will also prep on a Sunday, as today is Sunday, for the week is something else I've been doing this year that I've been really successful with, and it's actually going to get done today. So it's not going to be part of this week, but it's going to have an effect on this week, is I've been getting really good at my meal prep. So I've been doing meal prep for both lunches and dinners um, on Sunday. So I will today uh, pull out, I actually already pulled out some frozen chicken that needs to be defrost, that was need to be defrosted. And I'm going to make one of my bulk chicken recipes. Um, if you guys would like some inspiration for these sorts of bulk meals that I make to do like meal prep, I will leave a link to a video that I made back in the fall with some great crock pot recipes that still apply because it is, I don't know where you guys are living, but it is still cold here and like just snowed. And Definitely some delicious crock pot meals are going to be amazingly delicious and time savers for the week. So I today will do meal prep for my dinners for the week, and then I'll also meal prep my lunches. So you guys may remember from earlier vlogs from the fall, I was eating like frozen lunches, right? So I was eating those like frozen lunches, which it was working really well because it was a time saver for me. When I got hungry, I could just go grab one, pop it in the microwave, eat it, done. But I really wanted to start moving away from the frozen meals because I just felt like it was like, it was just a stepping stone to help me like get myself better organized and to get my meal prep to be a lunch and dinner situation. So now what I do, and I actually, we went grocery shopping yesterday on Saturday. That's when I normally do grocery shopping. I now buy um, like cold cuts, like meats and cheeses, and what I'll do is I just kind of like roll them up, right? I make like some roll ups and I will store them in a glass container for the week. And then when it becomes lunchtime, I grab a few of those, grab like a side snack sort of thing. And that is a very super easy um, prepared meal for myself for lunch. And it's such a time saver. And it's also like a stress reducer because I don't have to like stop and think, oh, I have to go make something, right? So I love meal prep for that reason. So that's another thing that actually is going to be done today um, that's going to end up being like, it's gonna be the gift that keeps on giving, right? Because all week I'm not gonna have to worry about lunches or dinners. So I'll be able to, you know, hit the week harder. And so if you're not someone who normally meal plans, um, think about adding meal planning to your weekly or Sunday night um, planning sessions. If you know you're having a week coming up, that's going to be tough. I don't think people need to meal plan every day, 365 days a year. If you do, that's wonderful. I think that for most people though, you know, meal planning can be used as a productivity tool to help you streamline your meals for the week when you are going to be in a situation where you know that you're going to be pressed for time. So yeah, that's the last thing I'll be doing today to prepare myself for a very busy work week ahead. So that is how I am planning my week on a Sunday for the week ahead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I definitely wanna hear about it down in the comments. Let me know what you found to be valuable from this video. If there was any specific tips or tricks that you found incredibly helpful, I wanna hear about it. And I'd also like to hear your process for how you get ready for a hectic week with your planner or any other tools that you may use to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success in the coming week. So make sure to leave a comment about that as well. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, 
Bye-bye.